Hello, and welcome once again to Crafting with Carol. I'm your host, Carol. Welcome to our New Year's Eve craft abration. If you're like me, after New Year's, you'll have 10 or 12 wine corks sitting around, more if you have guests, and you'll need something to do with them. So today we have a crafting project involving corks. First up, drilling the cork, which means we are to be using power tools today. Very important, power tools before alcohol. God knows we're gonna be drinking during our crafting projects, so get the power tool part of it out of the way first. We are going to be making these nifty little wine cork jewelry. And to do that, you need to be able to stick the crafting wire all the way through it. So we need to drill it. Put down something that you can drill on. Notice our drill bit does not go all the way through, so we're probably pretty safe. I am using a 5 16 drill bit. The 1 16 was too small. It really did nothing for me. Drilling into the cork. I'm gonna stick it right in the middle and drill straight down. Now believe me, once is not enough. You gotta slowly slide it in and out a few times so you're working with a nice clean hole. Oh yes, very nice. Now you flip it over and drill it from the other side so that it gets drilled from both ends. Again, you want to use a nice, slow, easy stroke so that the hole is clean and connects through. Now you want to get out your crafting wire. I am using a vintage bronze 20 gauge. I'm gonna get these things off like handcuffs. Uh, where's the end of this thing? <laughs> ah. And you wanna get, oh, I don't know, a foot and a half off. Snip it with your little wire trimmers. Now the first thing we're gonna do is put a little tiny curly cue right on the end of that there. Very nice. Which is very easy to do Assuming you're under the age of 13. After that, it gets a little more difficult. But really, if you just get it started, then you can kind of just coil it up like a little snail. And there we go. And then we coil it, coil it, coil it, coil it, coil it. Oh my God, I'm not drinking. Mm. I can't do the champagne even on New Year's. Those, the fizzy stuff makes me gassy. So today we're doing red blend table wine. Very fancy. Nothing but the best. So, oh, almost done. A couple more coils on that. One more. We got a little curly cue. And then you get out your wire crafting anvil. If you don't have a wire crafting anvil, get your hammer. You're gonna use the ball end. Gives it that fancy hammered look, which I will be by the end of the show. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> and then, before you put the cork on, you need to put the little beads on the bottom. Now, when you're choosing your beads, you have to make sure that they have a nice loose hole so that the, uh, the uh, wire can go all the way through. 
if it's too tight it just won't fit and you have to just jam on it it's not comfortable for anyone that we have that's big enough mm -hmm. I didn't go to the craft store because somebody gave me a little baggie of a broken necklace one time, so that's what we're using. That looks big enough. Ooh, red. Nice. So let's see. Let's put the little red one on the bottom. No, the olive one. Let's put the blue one on the bottom. And ha ha ha. Fits nice and easy. And now we're going to put on the little copper one. Crafting. It's fabulous. Oh, that's nice. See, the nice part about using wine corks that you don't buy fresh at the craft store, who would want to do that? You add so much dimension to your jewelry project when it smells like red wine. So let's see. Got to get the wire in there. It's a little hung up. Pushed on through. Oof. It's very stiff. Right from the other side. Ooh. Okay, we're not getting full penetration. That's a problem. We may have to use the power tools again, despite the fact that I've started drinking. Ignore this. Don't play like this at home, children. That should do the trick. Let's try that again. Oh, that's a little better. The damn thing won't go through, mother. Sometimes a good pounding is all it needs. Let's try this again. Not quite as straight, but you know, sometimes when it curves, it's it's still good. And we have achieved full penetration. Let me just take it all the way down to the bottom. And oh, put on another bead. Oh, there it is. A red one. Right on the top there. Don't use your teeth, it's bad for them. And now we just put on a little loop on the top so that you can put your leather or whatever through there. Leather's always good in just about any situation. Very nice. Wrap it around a couple more times. And then we start wrapping it around the cork. Now to get fancy here, you see you want to put little curly cues here and there. Hold on to it, wrap it around. Beautiful. Now we have a little curly cue. Oh, this reminds me of some very good times. Also involving leather. Uh, let's see, now we can have another little curly cue here. Nice. We'll go the other way. And we're just going to snip off this part because we kind of, that's still not, not very pretty. But we can also put a little curly cue right on the end there. And this we are going to slide up under the level of wire above it. It's almost like tying a knot, but not quite. And then to get it tight on the cork, because it's very loose right now, and it can just get right out of there. But if you're gonna bind something, you better do it right. It's much more fun that way. Wrap it around, around, then you pull it like a knot. And you are done. You have your nice little bondage cork. All ready for gift giving. 
Thank you for joining us for our New Year's celebration. I am Carol. Please join me again for more fun with crafts with Crafting with Carol. Happy New Year's.